Why do volcanoes erupt? Volcanoes erupt because huh? of immense forces acting deep within the Earth. Beneath the solid crust lies a thick layer known as the mantle. Although it is mostly solid, parts of the mantle are hot enough to melt rocks into a thick, flowing substance called magma. As magma builds up in certain places, it begins to move upward, searching for pathways toward the surface. The Earth's crust is not one solid piece. Instead, it is made of large plates that fit together like giant, uneven puzzle pieces. Huh? These plates are constantly moving, even if the motion is too slow for people to feel. When the plates pull apart, collide, or slide against each other, the huh? movement creates spaces or cracks where magma can rise. Many volcanoes form near these boundaries because the shifting plates expose deeper layers of the Earth. As magma moves upward, it collects in large underground chambers. As the magma begins to rise, the dissolved gases inside it also begin to expand. When the pressure inside the magma chamber grows too strong, the Earth's crust above it begins to crack. Once these cracks widen enough, the magma rushes upward through channels known as vents. As it reaches the surface, the sudden release of pressure causes the dissolved gases to burst out violently. This powerful combination of expanding gas and rising magma creates an eruption. <laughs> Not all eruptions look the same. Some volcanoes produce slow, steady flows of lava that move gently across the land. These eruptions occur when the magma is thin and runny, allowing gases to escape easily. Other volcanoes produce explosive eruptions. These happen when magma is thick and sticky. Thick magma traps gases more tightly causing them to build up even more pressure. When the pressure finally breaks through, <laughs> it can send ash, rocks, and lava fragments high into the air. <laughs> Water plays a role in volcanic activity as well. In some places, Ocean water seeps into deep cracks and meets magma. When cold water touches the extremely hot magma, it flashes into steam instantly. This sudden expansion increases the pressure inside the volcano, adding to the intensity of the eruption. Volcanoes near coastlines or under the ocean often erupt with extra force because of this interaction between magma and water. The shape of the volcano influences how it erupts. Shield volcanoes have wide, gentle slopes and produce flowing lava that spreads across large areas. Their eruptions are usually calm and predictable. Stratovolcanoes have steep sides and can build tall peaks over time. They often produce the dramatic, explosive eruptions that send ash clouds into the sky. Volcanic eruptions create ash clouds that rise high into the atmosphere. Ash is made of tiny fragments of rock and glass that form when magma cools rapidly during an explosion. Winds can carry these ash particles across long distances, affecting skies, weather, and even temperatures far from the volcano. Though ash clouds can be dangerous, they also release minerals that enrich soil helping plants thrive in the years after an eruption. <laughs> <laughs>